Hey everyone, welcome back to Xenogears. This is either episode 15 or 16, I can't remember. Um, I also can't remember what we were doing. Uh, a little bit of background. Uh, between the last episode I recorded and this one, I did a Final Fantasy stream where I got to a point that I was supposed to... Do words I can't think of. Um, I got to a point where I was basically ready to grind uh, my characters to more or less endgame. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so I've been grinding there and the controls for that game are 100% reversed from this game, more or less. Uh, especially with the confirm and blah 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 buttons. Oh, and I don't remember exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Hammer ran off to do a thing. God, if this ends up bad, I'll just cut it. But let's see. Hammer ran off to do a thing. I think I think now's the point where we're just going back to our place to take a or to sleep. So let's uh, let's do that and see if that doesn't. Oh, here we go. Hey, I found the trigger. Woo! -hoo! So yeah, last time we decided we were going to take our gear and get the fuck out of here, and apparently we weren't too quiet about it, because these guys are here to be like, uh, you know, they're going to baptize us. They're going to throw us in that alley and pull down their pants, and God, I'm sorry. <laughs> Even FaZe like, fuck this. <clears throat> Ugh. God. It's first thing in the morning. It's first thing in the morning. I feel like shit. I haven't gotten through my coffee. I'm all fucked up. Mm. Delicious coffee. So I'm sorry if the uh, the uh, commentary today is not uh, the sterling caliber you've come to expect from the Wu Tang Chicken Gaming Channel. It's a massive joke. <clears throat> God, I am all kinds of fucked up. I wasn't kidding. <sighs> Alright, so now we're hanging out in my house. Rico needs our help. Yeah, he was acting like a complete fucktard fucking idiot in the last one, wasn't he? So basically, they're gonna execute him. I don't know if I just said that before it shows up in the LP, but yeah, here this is this is supposed to be the 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 drop. Yeah, he was caught and arrested, but yeah, now they're gonna execute his ass. Also, for trying to assassinate that motherfucker, he wasn't trying that hard. Mostly of people from the ethos. So there's, there's your thing again. The ethos have everything to do with, with gears and how this world gets and understands its technology, which makes them wildly powerful. So basically, it sounds like the ethos more or less tricked the champ, or tricked Rico into uh, trying to assassinate uh, Kaiser. But I almost said Kaiser Wilhelm, but that's that's real life. That's not Xeno Gears. <clears throat> His name is Siegmund. Champ has had many chances to kill the Kaiser. Bam. Disguised as an accident. So basically they used him to try and do the job and now that the questions are being raised, they're using him as a scapegoat. 
Help the champ! You are the battling champ. But our champ is... It doesn't matter. <clears throat> but the good news is, by the end of this episode, we should... Oh, I'm gonna take that back. I'm not gonna say fucking anything about the end of this episode. Or what I think's gonna happen in the next hour. Yeah. Oh boy. Woohoo, tonight. So there's a part that you can just straight up fail coming up soon where you just get a game over. And it's a platforming section, and that's kind of annoying. We move tonight! The execution, the way they pull it off, is actually kind of cool. <clears throat> Via the battling arena, that makes sense. Yeah, in one way and out the other. With our gear. We can help the champion. Doc. Hmm. So, as the battling champ, we're pretty much the darling of this city. You know what I mean? Like, we're, we're, basically we can go anywhere and do anything and people are like, Oh, wow, it's the champ! And we're about to throw all of that away from the looks of it. So yeah, clearly we don't really care what's going on here. Our biggest concern is to just get the fuck out. Yeah, he gave me some money. Yeah, I deserve your money. When we get out into the arena, I'm just gonna go wild in my gear. Oh god. Guys, I feel <laughs> fucking terrible. <laughs> oh. So this is pretty much the point. This is the point where they're like, you know, take care of what you got to take care of or sleep and go do the fucking thing. Eh, I'll save before I sleep. Come on. I'm glad I didn't end up putzing around right in the beginning of the episode trying to figure out where the fuck we're trying to go. That would have been, uh... I would have not been happy about that. Especially from a content standpoint. There's enough... semi-superfluous shit in this LP as it is without me being lost for 10 or 15 minutes. Alright. Latina, you are the one good part of D-Block. Bye, girl, love you. But, like, platonically. But, like, no, I'd smash. But... Like... Shit, I went the wrong way. We go all the way around and get to the ladder to get up to the... Up there. Woohoo! Ah, uh, crap, I went right by it. Oh, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a thing happen. Trains are coming. Youngster, jumping from this tower is illegal. Even if I know you, you, even if I know you, you, I'm gonna find you. Better not forget it. I'm no pushover. Okay, I'm here. Oh, 
Where is it? Did I... Did I fuck something up? Oh god! He just finds me. Clearly I did something wrong. Okay. Um... I... I don't... I don't remember... God! Some special equipment in the tunnel. This group tried to escape and didn't know that. The bomb collar went boom. Yep, see ya. As long as you have that bomb... I don't have a bomb collar on. I know for a fact I have to jump from this. God damn it! So what am I supposed to fucking do? Did I not sleep? Oh my gosh, this is... Oh, this isn't even the bar. God! Okay. We're gonna try and sleep one more damn time. And then from there, it's gonna be cut. Because holy shit. Rest! God damn it. Are you fully prepared? Yeah, okay, may I guess. Shit. I got fined a hundred g. I'm ready. Fucking fuck off. Okay, cool. Sleeping in our super sexy bed. The funny thing is, Faye's trying to run out of here, and he is, you know, with this, technically his fucking property. Alright, here we go. Now it's legit nighttime do the thing time. God. Sorry, everybody. It has not been the best. It's not been the best morning, but it's also not been the best, like, week and a half. Tower we want is over there. Hurry, Faye. I think I'm going up the wrong fucking steps, I am. God damn it. Officially went from being my favorite part of the LP to... Why is my life? Hey, yo, girl, hey. Hey. I can't go in the arena. I can't. Well, it's time. I wish you success. Maybe we can meet again. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Alright, we gotta time this right. We gotta time it right. We did it. We the best. So it's just... Whoa, what the? Remember those kids that were putting coins on the track? Yeah. They're dead. No, they're not dead. But the train went all nuts from running over a coin. That was a close one. They almost got thrown off. So it's all those, those damn punk kids. Fucking get off my lawn. The old man's gone. They always do this. Oh, well. Kind of odd hearing that from a mischievous punk. Huh? -huh? You say something, you old fuck? We should be alright if we take this all the way. So far, so good. Nothing bad could possibly... Oh! What is that? What happened? Uh... Alright, we gotta get the fuck off of here. I can't remember if it's supposed to be falling apart here, or if this is... I can't remember if this is because it's falling apart, or if it's because it detects people. But either way, we're good. If you fuck up those jumps, you get a game over. Also, if you fuck up the jump onto the train, you get a game over. Which I've, I've done. In the past. It was not, not fun. Alright, here we are. So there's a bunch of crap to do, a bunch of stuff to check out. No, it is locked. You have no key. Someone is approaching. We should hide. 
Hide! This part's cool, sneaking through. Also, they wear the same outfits as the pilots and Bart's crew. Doesn't anything fun ever happen around here? The last champ looks like he's been matched with the beast. Everybody wants to see this guy die. Alright, so clearly we can get a key or a key card from people. So let's go around and start murdering everyone. That's not actually the plan, but that is more or less how it goes. So this place has some very interesting enemies that you guys will get to see. But we're also going to look around and see what's going on with everybody. This is a hell of an operation here, huh? There's Veltal! Oh shit! Can tell by its girly high-heeled feet. <sighs> uh, these aren't the interesting enemies I was talking about. You run into some very cool enemies unique to this region of the world in here. Um... You run into him again at one other point very soon after this, but uh, we should see him here. You also run into actual Kislev soldiers in here, uh, which have a really cool design, better than Aves for sure. They almost look like they were designed by a different artist, and they fight completely differently. Oh, can't see shit. There we go. So there are goodies at the end of some of these dead ends, so I'm going to be running around looking for all of it. Here we go, these guys. We'll let one of them attack us. They're basically weird, like, mechanic mutants. Also, look at that. Look at how much damage they take. Can you imagine coming through here, underleveled? Wow, he hadn't done anything yet. I wonder why. Yeah, you gonna die tonight, boy! So, they'll throw wrenches at you on top of everything else they do. And I'm sure we'll see it here with another fight coming up at some point. Why did the game pause itself? Why why is my game paused? Okay, so that that sucked, but uh, uh, here we are back. What was seconds for you was well, weeks for me because I got busy. Anyways, let's keep on keeping on with this bullshit. So, um. Yeah, the last recording I did was like two weeks ago, but I got busy, so unfortunately. That's just on my end. Y'all get to enjoy this seamlessly. Borderline seamless. Of course you fucking confuse me. Borderline seamlessly. Um. Oh, he doesn't have that to play with. Shit. I always forget what the fuck I'm doing when I can play this damn game. Anyway, so, so to break the illusion of when this was recorded, because you're going to be watching it in like the middle of January, but it is November 21st, 2017 when I'm recording this, so yeah, that's how much turnaround I give myself since I tend to get busy in spurts, so I can't do a more, uh, I can't do a more frequent uh, uh, game schedule thing. It's locked! Ah, oh, crap, poops. This is also locked. Um, but what's significant about that is I'm recording this the day before my birthday. And I'm turning a billion years old. Not really, but... 
Man, the camera sucks in this. Just, just for now, though. But yeah, so woo! It's a celebration. Sing myself happy birthday, happy birthday to me. I woke up in my own pee because I've been drinking a lot of tequila. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, I feel the energy is a lot better today uh, than that last fucking recording. That last recording felt weird, but uh, still a weird day. Cause I don't like my birthdays. Cause yeah, I'm getting old and dying, I'm faced with the inevitability of my own death, <sighs> or something. It's also weird because, except for a bunch of like work I have to do from home. I have pretty much the entire week off this week. Um, take a peek? Yeah, we'll take a peek. Um, oh, look at that. Look at that flashing in and out. Good lord. Yeah, I have almost the entire week off, so I have a little extra time where I'm not commuting for three hours every day to do some extra recordings and stuff. But that means I'm sitting around the house, eating all my food. Uh, and that's never good for anyone cuz like <clears throat> I'm at the point where like there's plenty of food in my house but pretty much everything is off limits because my wife is getting it all ready for a giant Thanksgiving meal that she myself and my daughter are going to have um so like my breakfast today was like a quart of orange juice a bunch of coffee with pumpkin spice creamer, <laughs> leftover meatloaf, and I think I had like a Snickers bar, <laughs> which is like, and, and I ate all of this within like three or four minutes of each other. Like I just kind of put it all together and was just like, yeah, I'm going to eat this. So, <clears throat> so yeah, the... The energy is a little weird today. I'm also, like, slowly becoming very upset with myself. Um, because every birthday that I have, I go and do some ridiculous death hike. And the one I've planned this year, I think, is going to be, like, 26 miles long and take most of the day. And so I'm, like, trying to eat remotely healthy <clears throat> and like I might be carb loading a little bit towards the end of the day but I'm not sure yet because I don't know what the shit I'm gonna be cooking my family for dinner um but like where the fuck am I oh yeah here's another thing to peek through um god I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing at this point I'm just talking about my day <laughs> but um yeah, I don't know, like, the fact that I don't know what I'm gonna eat is, like, throwing me off as a human being. Um, yeah, so, you get some weird, like I said 50 times already, you get some weird-ass energy here in this LP, or this, this episode, so yeah. So you be better than the, what I think was the snooze fest of the last fucking episode, or the, the beginning of this episode. Oh god! There's people. I mean, I don't, I don't really need to preface what we're doing. We didn't start another episode. I don't have to be like, welcome back, guys. So it's also off for me. I mean, we're still sneaking through this thing. We're kind of seeing what's going on in this big military complex. Ooh, stretch my neck. We're kind of seeing what's going on in this big military complex. Uh, that we're infiltrating, trying to get our gear back, and it seems like everybody's like... Yeah, here it is right here. Everybody's interested in watching the... the... the fight, so everybody's kind of distracted. Uh, yeah, that's... that's what's... that's what's going on here. Alright, so I think there's two things to grab in here. There's the master key we need, which will let us go through everything. There's the master key. Ooh. Oh, wait, wait. Here it is. This is it. This is why I remember this. So this is where you get your first gear hit point restore item. 
allows gear to recover 30% of its hit points. That's a very specific thing to translate that way. I was watching a bunch of stuff about this game recently. Apparently this entire translation was like the passion project of the one motherfucking translator on Square Enix's team that wasn't like really put off and scared by the idea of having to translate all of like the religious themes. Because, like, apparently, like, like the majority of the team was like, No, I, don't, I wouldn't touch this shit with a ten-foot pole. Let's see, can I equip this on my gear already? Fuck yes, I can. Alright, frame hit point 30. So that becomes very important later on. Because that's the only way to restore uh, hit points in your gears until the very end of the game. But yeah, I watched a bunch of interesting stuff about this, including information about let's see did i miss any doors no i did not um a bunch of stuff about the development of the second disc and why the decision was made to do the second disc the way it was done um but uh yeah what stood out to me most interestingly was the whole uh translation situation was it was literally just one guy who was like yeah i ain't afraid of no no Western Jesus Bible freaks? Yeah. I'll translate Slayer God. Fuck it. Brick Squad. Which is... Honestly, pretty cool. Because, like, if nobody was around to... I mean, the translation, they could have had to, like, contract it out. And the translation could have potentially been a lot worse than it is. And the translation, I think, is pretty damn good. But the fact that it's one guy translating an 80-hour game is massively impressive to me. It explains a lot of the little, like, niggling problems I have with it. But, like, the difference between what we have and what could have been is wild. Damn, nothing to grab in here. Alright, so I want to look around for extra doors as I go, uh, because those extra rooms that we, uh, took a look inside, we should be able to grab one or two things out of them. I know that the box that we looked at about five minutes ago, we can open that up, so. Looking for those. So these guys have a lot of hit points and do a fair amount of damage for... Shit! These guys have a lot of hit points and do a huge amount of damage for the amount of experience they give you. Like, the Bat Rats give you more experience, but, like, the fact that they use Confusion is almost... Oh, shit. Button stuck. I was trying to do Senratsu. Um, the fact that they do Confusion is kind of the trade-off. But, I don't know. I feel like I'll always be down for dealing with... I use the master key. I feel like I'll always be down for dealing with whatever bullshit an enemy's gonna throw at me if I get more experience from it. Outside of, like, instant death shit. Um, which I mentioned because, like, if I remember correctly, in, like, the Dark Souls series, the basilisks that can petrify you and instantly kill you uh, provide a fair amount of experience. Hey, we got a mini gear. Woohoo, we did it. Um, I'm pretty sure those provide a fair amount of experience. Probably wrong as fuck. But, like, there's no way I'm grinding that because one fuck up on my part. My super ultra great delicious excellent dynamite bomber special DX beautiful wonderful ultimate rabbi completely merging undefeating transforming air is going to put in a glass case of something priceless mini gear. <laughs> Face like, what the fuck? And now we get to fight actual soldiers for once. Uh, these guys uh, are really strong. It's also one of the few times you're ever going to see this uh, model. So suck it up, ladies and gents. Speaking of sucking it up, I've yet to suck it up and check out uh, Evangelion. Um... This, oh! Look at how much damage they do to Satan. For some reason, Faye is Faye's just so overleveled that he's fucking impervious to it. No, that's... Save that for an emergency. Hopefully he doesn't get his ass handed to him in the second... In the next second here. 
And I completely lost my train of thought of what I was talking about. Oh! Evangelion, I remember, I remember, because I was thinking about sucking it. Uh, not actually shit. Yes, yes, yes! Yeah, fuck yourself! Yeah! <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've yet to suck it up and watch that. To check out all the similarities and be like, holy shit, now I can kind of talk about this thing that seems to be the subject of half the things I look at at Xenogears nowadays. Um, uh, specific and I specifically haven't checked it out yet because I refuse to, like, purchase it, and I don't want to deal with, like, bootlegging it. Um, and it's not on any of the streaming services I use. Which... No, I don't have Netflix. Yes, I'm a fucking strange human being. Um, shut up, shut your mouth. Um, but it's not on Hulu, and as far as I could tell, it wasn't on Crunchyroll. 23, there we go. Rotate them saves, boys and girls. Look at all my Resident Evil saves. Actually, fucking lava. I used the master key. Actually, we are getting very close to the end of this section. Jump down here. Oh, no, jump down here. There's something... I thought there might have been something down here. Watch me be wrong as shit. Quick, Satan, use your stand! It looks like you! No one knows how King Crimson works. That... That's gonna mean... Nothing or everything to the people watching this. Well, they don't take too much damage. They dish out a ton to Satan, though. Look at that. 122. God. That's wild. And it's all because he's below He's below a, a defense threshold. That Faye is over. Actually, you know what? I'm interested in looking at that. So, Faye's defense is at 94. Oh, his is almost twice Satan's. Do I have something I can equip on his ass? Have I been doing this wrong? Oh! Metal jacket. There we go, that helps. Okay, then hopefully that'll keep him from taking... What, like... Hey, I did get a survival tip from... Get stuck on that? That's weird. That's what I get for fucking around with the camera angles too, I guess. But yeah, so I'm I'm an idiot, clearly. Alright, so first thing we wanna do is it's in one of these, so we wanna go around and hit these buttons until Veltal comes out. There he is! Hey, we got our gear back! How cool is that? Let's go over here. This is the automated gear shop. Let's see. You got any sick updates for me? Yeah, some hit point upgrades. Same armor. Restore all that shit. All right. Hope to be of service to you again. So now we want to take this up. Hey, we did it. We infiltrated. We just had to go through a bunch of bullshit and get lost for half of the first 15 minutes of the video. At which point, you know, I should have saved there. I, oh shit, I really should have saved there. Uh, <laughs> I only had to, like, snooze fest it, pog champ the fucking first 15 minutes of the video before the crash. Whatever. It's fine. So... Rico right now is standing in the desert part of that fucking battle arena that we were running around in doing the fighting last episode or the episode before, whenever, whenever the fuck that was. A couple episodes previous. Ah, delicious water. So I think, I don't know if it said it yet, and I might be spoiling it, but basically there's, they're, they're gonna make a big monster fucking eat him. Which is like... Is that your most efficient way of... Look at this damn thing! And it's just another rank car. You know, that thing Faye has punched to death. 
a billion times. A gear in flight. Oh man, what's happened? Him? Oh god. Oh god, I get the meatloaf orange juice burps. It's horrible. Uh. Oh, that. Those two things do not mix. Let's fuck up this dinosaur, yo! Fair amount of damage. No! Bastard. So, whenever I play this game a lot, like whenever I go through like a playthrough of the game, because there's been so many times where I'll get like six hours in and be like, yeah, I, I got my fill of Xeno Gears, but obviously since I'm doing a... Uh... Oh wow, that's all you took? Fuck you then. Um... Uh, every now and then, when I really get into Xenogears, like I am for the LP, where I'm gonna play through the whole, you know, thing, obviously. I start thinking about the trade-off between using the highest level gear death blow, where you grind up to level 3, and then use the, use the, the highest level thing you have. Or grinding all the way up to level 3, and then using a level 1 three times, and which one does more damage. Um, and I, you know, it's always just like a little, like, fun thought experiment. Like, well, what, which is gonna do more damage overall? Um, and I don't know. So, I've never, like, tested it or checked it out or anything like that. I've never looked at, like, damage values on, like, a chart in a walkthrough or anything like that. Um, but what I think I'll do is whenever I'm doing, like, gear fights and gear boss fights specifically where I'm gonna grind up the death blow level is I think I'll have one person using the highest level death blows and the other person grinding up to three and then working their way down with uh, the level one death blows. And just kind of see. Just kind of, you know, also change it up for you, the viewer, which, uh, when I say viewer, I fucking mean it. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. There's like one or two people who are enjoying this. And thanks, thanks you guys. Like, you guys are the best. Nobody watches my fucking LPs, and sometimes that's a bummer. And half the time I do the LPs just so that it's like, oh, well, you know, I'm 30, uh, and there's enough games out that I'll probably never play X game again. So I'll do an LP of the fucking game, and that way if I ever want to see it again, I can just go back and watch an episode. But, like... It's fun to have other people watch your stuff. It really is. Part of the reason I like doing streams, which I don't do that often anymore because of the whole immediate feedback. But, uh... No, the LPs are fun, too. Because it gives you a little chart that's like, this many people watched it for this many minutes. And they're like, oh, that's cool. Somebody was so interested in my dumb bullshit that they watched it for this many minutes. Yay. I don't know. Like I've said several times in several other episodes, because let's admit it, with the way I record this, I'm just repeating myself every episode with probably diminishing returns uh, for the viewer. But uh, if uh, somebody gets their Xenogears kick, you know, their nostalgia fix from watching my LP. Oh, this is the bombing run, by the way. I should probably pay attention to that because that's kind of important. Because uh, they're basically trying to nuke this entire city. Uh, but if like, if, if a couple people watch this and are like, Oh man, I remember Xeno Gears. This is nice. I'm glad this person did this. Then that's cool. And if like one person watches this and says, Oh wow, this is a cool old game. I'm going to pick this up on the PlayStation Store or whatever. That's cool too. Because these games are the shit. And we'll never really get another one. Because Xenoblade Chronicles is profitable. And I hear Xenoblade Chronicles 2 has a ton of references to this game. Uh, thematically and just straight up like, here's a character. Or here's a thing that's from the thing. Um, it's here. 90% of you aren't going to know what the fuck the deal is with this. Uh, but yeah, Xenoblade is, is where it's at for this core team or these people that made this game. Uh, that's, that's, that's what they do now. No more Xenogears. No more. You've got this, and perfect works. Fucking, and, and the very, very small amounts of hentai that exists. And is all kind of really fucked up, so I'm kind of upset that I brought it up during such a, a serious moment as a, as a, a fucking purge where they're 
blowing up the entire city and killing hundreds of thousands of people. I'm talking about hentai. Um, you know. So, my, my bad. Also, if you're pausing the video to go look up the hentai like I can't stop you, and I'm not gonna say shame on you because I brought it up, but like, it's not, it's not great. But it's all we've got, I don't know. I'm sure there's a DeviantArt page somewhere. <laughs> oh no. Or like, rule 30, fuck. No. I am not encouraging anyone. This is a family-friendly LP. Except the, the... Except the baptism ceremony. <laughs> oh, God. God, just slap a Brazzers logo on all of this and just re-upload it to Pornhub. God, and it's my fault. I'm the only one steering this ship. Fuck. Ah. Uh. So yeah, Faye is like, oh, all these innocent people are going to die and immediately jumps into action. Which seems to be his only character motivation is like, I don't want to see people, I don't want to see innocent people get blown up. Also, hey, look, it's Ellie and her, uh, <laughs> reverse harem. <laughs> Oh, it never turns into a reverse harem, but god, the images in my head. Why am I so porny today? I told y'all the fucking... Ugh, I told y'all the energy would be weird. I got the meatloaf, orange juice, burps, talking about porn all the time. Getting older and dying. My number's rolling over. Rank. He seems to be the only cool one. He also looks like a character from the OG Gundam series. Which I pointed out. See? Me repeating myself again. So you guys could... You guys could watch every episode of the LP. Or, or you could watch the first episode 50 times. And probably get the same experience. And I, I apologize for that. I tried to get guests. I tried to be like, hey Tony, you're in LPs. You, you want to be in one of these? And be like, yo, what's up? And I can yell at you for an hour about why this game is the shit. He's like, no, that sounds stupid. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm sorry I brought it up. Can I give you a baptism ceremony? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it takes a very special person to be interested in doing this kind of thing. Also, face beating the shit out of people. Mmm, delicious water. He's beating the shit out of people off screen. And now he's like, angry. Now he's like, what the fuck? Because he's like, why does this shit keep happening? Fuck! I'm gonna kill you all! He never gets that grumpy, but, you know, whatever. Also, he just punched his gear right in the dick. If this was Zone of the Enders where the cockpits are in the dick, that would be, like, super dirty. Ah, shit. He's faster than me. He does a fair amount of damage. So there is... Uh, there's a, a fair amount of fights coming up and a, a fairly tough boss fight at the end of this, so I'm going to try and conserve as much fuel as I can. Um, God damn it. There we go. Waste 10 more to hopefully ensure a death. Son of a bitch. Damn. This is not going well. He's already taken out like 20% of my damn health. Oh, there we go. Oh, this fucking shoulder pain. So see, even the basic level one does a lot of damage. Hey, got more experience. <laughs> Somehow Faye is still gaining levels despite being like 13 levels ahead of where the fuck he's supposed to be. Yeah, look, this is the first time Faye actually gets like, pissed. I think. Like, it shows any type of actual like, like, drive to change what's happening in the world. Look at all this fucking damage! Holy shit, man. Oh. Oh, you guys are fucking tough. What the 
641. One or two more hits. God damn. I feel like this is all designed to force you to use your to use your uh, hit point regain shit. Because like if you look, I'm fine on fuel for now, kind of, but my health is like nearly half. Actually, it is half. It's about half. Uh, so I'm gonna have to restore my hit points at some point very soon here. I'm getting a ton of experience though, so that's probably fine. There's people over there that can't get out. So this city's already like super fucked. My town. So what I find interesting about this is that if you think about where we've come from in the game so far, we went and destroyed what, like most or all of Ave's military strength by basically blowing up a fleet or two? Um, which, as they mentioned right at the beginning of this Kislev section, it's like, we should attack now. They don't have a fucking army. Um, and the reason that I think that's significant is because now we're here in Nortune in the military industrial heart of Kislev and just the fact that he's here and some mysterious force wanted him to be here oh guys hit me so fucking much the fact that we're here is like reason enough for Gebler to now destroy they're basically destroying the entire city, which would end the war, uh, to be honest. Um, but the fact that we're here means that they're just going to be, like, mostly crippled, I guess? Um, is really interesting, because basically, because of where we are and what we're doing, everybody's getting taken down a peg. Hey, look, it's Rico and his fucking steer gear. Steer, that's the name of it. Steer, or steer, or steer. It's S-T-I-E-R, E-I-R. If it's E-I-R, it's steer. If it's S-T-I-E-R, it's steer. I'll have to take a look at it. Also, Rico's response is stupid. That's also one re- <laughs> Shut up! Let's fucking murder everybody. So Rico's gear is slow like him, but it's not as bad as... This is the first time I'm gonna refill my stuff. It costs 340 fucking fuel. Um, Rico is a lot better in his gear than on the ground. You all just gonna fucking shoot at me? Rico's gear does a shit ton more damage than everybody else's, has a higher hit chance. Oh shit, I thought it was pointed at the other one. Not a higher hit chance, but as high of a hit chance as everybody else. So like, the only reason you keep Rico in your party is because his gear's the shit. Like, look at the damage difference. Well, Faye's gonna be sitting here doing what, like 600-something with his triangle square, his level one? Yeah, Rico is just... He's a beast. You throw a, a, a high fuel... Or, like, you either throw a high fuel, uh, low output... Uh, God, what's the word I'm looking for? You throw a high fuel, low output, like, fuel tank on this thing? Or engine? I can't remember which it is. Um, or do the opposite, and he is... He is... Nigh unstoppable. Um, except for Ether. He's a little weak to some Ether stuff, which uh, becomes a... I mean, everybody is, but it becomes a big problem later on. But uh, he, he's a game changer in his gear. Also, hey, he's getting lots of experience. Good for him. 
But yeah, if you throw a big or a huge fuel tank on him and throw his booster on, then he's fu then he, he's nuts. Hey, it's Ellie. Hey, yo, girl. Hey, you got a nice gear. Let me hit it with with my like. Let's fight. I not the sex thing. <laughs> God damn it. I can make do by myself. He's like, yeah, I'm single-handedly take care of all this bullshit. He's kind of right. I guess I'll go on ahead. They gets grumpa dump at this point. Faye's like, you fucking idiot woman. God damn it. I think it says a lot about me as a human that I only really like Faye's character when he gives a shit. About something, because normally he doesn't give a shit about anything but himself. He's fucking selfish. He's like, I don't like doing the thing. <laughs> you fucking half-hearted attempt have an ass, bitch. I'll fuck you up. I'm Faye. Don't you know who I am? I'm the Slayer of God, survivor of baptism ceremonies. I didn't drown in the baptism. Oh. 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 God. Oops. Don't have the freedom like you do. Bitch, I literally had a bomb around my neck for weeks and you're talking about me having freedom? It's an interesting point on her end. Um, however, she's like... It's like she has... Op, like She feels like she has social obligations, so she's like, I guess I have to be a, an officer here. Because my daddy, and the country I'm in, and the alternative sucks, so I guess I'm gonna be entirely complicit in the, the brutal nuclear murder of an entire town, which is, like, this is some dumb angsty kiddo bullshit that I consider is quite stupid, but... Whatever, that's that's the story being told. Faye becomes a completely different person once he decides he gives a shit. Like, this is kind of the first time he really has a talking to to anybody where he's like, Look, this is how I feel about this shit. Normally he's just like, Nah, it doesn't involve me, or I don't like doing it, or blah, 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 blah. Or, like, things are going on around him and he's just deciding to go along with it. Like, uh... Like the whole Ave Raid thing. He's just kind of like, Yep, yeah, you, you guys came up with this idea. I guess I'm gonna blow some shit up in my gear. So, you know. that That's cool. Uh, yeah. And he definitely does, like... I feel like this is one of the very last times in the game that, uh, or this part of the game where we're, what, 15, 16 hours in, is one of the last times where he, he, he doesn't have much agency. And, like, from this point on, he starts getting better and better as a character and starts basically taking control of his own story. Um, but, like, up to this point, it's just a fucking slog to get him to that point. <sighs> like, it... Oh, look, he's gonna hit her! Oh, he's gonna hit her! Look, look at the closed pixel fist! Oh, he didn't do it. But then he's all like, no, I'm gonna be nice. But yeah, so this is the point where Faye's character kind of turns around for me. Because, like, that shit... Like, him being the main character and me having to deal with that and being like, yep, he's the avatar for the... Well, he's not really the avatar for the player. He's his own character. And if anybody truly identifies with him, you should probably seek some psychological help. Um, but that's that's kind of a spoiler for later. Or you guys might know already. It doesn't matter one way or the other. But, like, 
the fact that he's starting to have agency makes the, makes from like here on a lot better for me. Um, and I really enjoy that. And it's understandable from a storytelling standpoint that it's taken 15 fucking hours to get here. But um, for me, I, I'm a goddamn adult. I'm over this angsty. I don't know what to do with my life. Shit. I'm over, I'm over people not knowing what to do. Even my daughter, who's five, has like... And I know she's five, so it's going to change a million more times. But even she's like, yeah, I want to do this, 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 and this. I'm like, okay, I'll help you do that. Whereas Faye's like, uh, I am here. But he gets better now. There's even points later on where he does stuff off screen that... He only kind of alludes to to the rest of everybody. And he's like, oh, I know a ton of shit now. And, uh, you guys are just going to have to catch up. And there, that that point is, like, really good. Okay, here's our, uh, here's our little save for the big fighteroo. So, uh, this part's going to suck. But hopefully we'll be able to finish it before I end it up. Alright. No, no, not a Xenogears file. Oops. 24, 25. There we go. Bam! Jam it right in that safe slot. Yeah, girl. I'm gonna baptize you. Um, ah, uh, God. Why would I wait? Yes, I want to resume. They, they just give you an opportunity to go back into your menu, basically. Not that that can do anything, but whatever. So, we're going into a fairly tough boss fight here. Faye is crippled um, from the previous fights, but we have Rico, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, I think this is a pretty cool boss thing here. <laughs> yeah, he's made a girlfriend. Hey, you know that by looking at the robot, but hey, it's Dominia piloting this fucking thing. The ship bomb hacked. Of course not. We're not going to take the ship down. We're going to take you down, bitch. God, that waveform looked kind of like a penis. Um, so, oh, they gave me all my shit back. Look at that. So, record, restore gear, gear defense, or enlarge uh, chi attack. We're going to put the booster on Faye because he doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh, but he has the fuel for it. I thought one of these guys had at least an attack up, but whatever, no big deal. So he does a ton of damage. I think she I think she uses the Arod beam attacks as a counter attack to physical attacks. So I want to see if I can fuck her up with uh, some stuff like this. Not really. Okay. So I get... Oh, she just counter attacks everything. Which is uh, part of the reason she's tough. Because she hits like a normal attack every time she counters. And she doesn't get to a point... Scratch my nose. She does not get to a point where she, like, runs out of uh, either points or anything. Like, I hope you guys are ready to watch a lot of that. Alright, so like I said, I'm going to use one character for the heavy attacks and one character for the lighter attacks. And I think I'll use Faye for the lighter attacks since he's getting so many more attacks in. And I'll use... Rico for the heavier attacks, which he should have at least one level three. But yeah, now that they give you a healing option for your gears, it's like you get this is the point in the game where you can have problems. Oh yeah, we gotta fuck this thing up. Because uh, that thing will hit us both for an absolute fuck ton of damage if we don't. Good thing he's just waiting in the wings with his booster on and everything. I think Faye should have no problems breaking that thing before it hits us. Kind of like the countdown on the, uh, the battleship fight with Ave there. Good thing is nothing here, nothing here has avoided my heavy attacks yet, so that's good. 
mega body. Because of the camera angle, you can't really see that he's doing like a bunch of punches and stuff. And then a body slam! Yeah! Suck my ass! I'm a child. Hey, we did it! Look at that. We destroyed the Super Air Rod. So, uh, she's basically Ellie on crack in terms of that Air Rod use. Um, which, if you look, she's doing a ton of damage. And yes, I know Faye's tanking most of the hits here, because he's getting most of the hits in. Uh, which is fine, because he still has enough fuel to heal at least once more, uh, which will be more than enough. Although I could probably switch the... You know what? It's back to normal. We'll switch up their roles, why not? Fuck it! And all the cool shit's happening right here at the end of the... Right here at the end of the episode. Actually, that's a that's a smart way to make sure that most of her attacks hit Rico is by making him go more. I mean, of course they're gonna take the counter hit every damn time, but I don't think you guys have seen Phase Phase uh, 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 highest level three yet. Well, the highest level three you can get without equipping a special item that you can't get until way later. Go, get that hit in. So, uh, maybe we'll make that the finale of the, the, the video here. So here it is. Here it is. It's Square X. We can't even see it because of this. Yeah. Yeah. Does a jumping jump kick. And you know what? Fuck it. I think we'll end the episode there. So thanks for coming out, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my, my terrible video there. And yeah, and we'll s bye. Tell your friends, subscribe. Ah!